Okay, this video is for uh, those of us who conceal carry. Um, as a concealed carry guy, uh, one of my biggest issues when I am concealed carrying is uh, when I go somewhere that doesn't allow me to carry inside their, their place of business or whatever, such as, you know, as a school. You know, when I'm uh, at these type of places, I have to leave my gun in the car. And uh, I'm not real comfortable with leaving my gun in my car. Uh, you know, my gun, my gun is, uh, not only is it not a cheap gun, it's it's part of me, you know, it's an extension of me. It's, uh, it's, it's personal to me. If it was, if it was stolen, I'd be rather upset. So I don't like leaving it in my vehicle. Uh, there are, you know, several options. Uh, one of which is the, the lock box that can mount under your seat, which, you know, if you can mount it under your seat, that's, that's great. You know, that's, that's pretty good. It's hard to get to pretty safe and secure. Unfortunately, in my situation here, I cannot mount it under my seat. There's not room. Uh, my only option would be to mount it in an area where it is exposed, at which point it's more susceptible to crowbars and such, and you know, really takes away some of that security. Uh, they also have the, the cable that attaches to most of them, which, you know, if you're gonna try to reach in and grab a box and yank it out, it's, the, the, the cable will prevent that from happening. Uh, however, thieves that come prepared, you know, they, uh, they're probably gonna have something that'll cut that cable. That cable's not that strong. And uh, so what I did is I came up with an idea of a way to conceal my, my gun in my vehicle without it, you know, without you knowing it's there. Uh, what I did is I've got a, I've got a center console here. You know, it's standard, standard SUV. You know, most of them have these center consoles. Uh, there are safes that you can buy that goes in these. They're rather expensive. So what I did is I just kind of modified mine. If you look, looks pretty normal. Still have the mounting screws. But if you take and grab a hold of the back side here and it and you know i don't know if you can tell in the video but it's it's secure it feels really secure you're not going to know anything has been modified by looking at this or reaching reaching around in here you're not going to know but however if you grab the back side here and of course this is usually done with two hands i've only got one right at the moment but if you grab here pull up and get snapped loose in the back and you snap loose the front and then it does come out. If you notice, I still have the screw sticking down out of the bottom here. here let me. The screws are still in there. The threads have been filed down, so now they act like pins. And they actually go into the, the screw hole and they kind of lock in place. Uh, the bottom of the box, I've cut off about an inch to, to modify it to fit. Because once my gun's in there, this won't go back down all the way. So that's, that had to be modified. It's pretty simple, pretty simple. Um, and now if you look in here, it's a full-size Glock 21. Fits in there real nice. This slides right in. Kind of wiggle around, line, line up the holes, push down on the screws, and it locks into place. And I've got to say, I'm pretty comfortable with this set up here. I mean, if someone gets in my vehicle, they are not going to know that pulls out. So, just a thought, just an idea. If anybody else is having uh, problems with wanting to keep their gun in their vehicle and they're not real not real comfortable with it, you know, uh, by law, all we have to do is put it in a locked vehicle and we're safe as far as the law is concerned. But as most of us know, a uh, locked door only keeps out an honest person. So, with that being said, Gotta do what we can to make sure our valuables are safe. So there you go. If that helped anybody, great.